Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Now, unfortunately here in Minnesota, the rock hunting season is kind of coming to an end, but I thought it would be a fun idea to go through some of my favorite rocks that we have found this season. Now, at the beginning of this season, I was actually six months pregnant and it did get increasingly more difficult throughout this season as my belly began to grow. Now, in this very first video, it was pretty cold here still in Minnesota and the day that I went, it was actually pretty windy as well. So I made sure to keep on my rain boots and just do the best that I could. Oh, I just got water in my boots. And in this video, we ended up finding my very first agate of the season. It's really, really pretty. It's red. It has this beautiful quartz in it. And it was such a fun find. We also got to find some other really unique rocks in this video. We found a few quartzes that were great for tumbling. Smoky quartz, a milky quartz, and this cool piece of chert. I think these look awesome when they're tumbled. And I'm always a sucker for the Unikite, so I picked up one of these along the way too. Then there was this gorgeous oil stained Mary Ellen Jasper. This was the most unique Jasper that I found this season. The second time that I went rock hounding this year, I got to face my rock hounding fears and I actually rock hounded on the side of a road. Now, I was a little nervous because I did look kind of silly in my get up when I was looking for rocks, but it ended up being a pretty cool adventure. I found this really Really cool red translucent rock. Now I know it's not an agate, but I'm still actually not sure what this one was. Then we got to go to an island adventure, another one of my very favorite places to go, and one of the places that I actually found one of my very first agates. So this was a really fun adventure as well, and I ended up finding a little fossilized bone, which in the comments people said maybe could be from something like a bison. We also got to find some other really beautiful rocks and gems in this location as well. It's definitely one of my favorite places to go. I'm not gonna lie, being uh, six months pregnant, <laughs> it is a little more difficult to get down to the water level, but I'm gonna do it because it's worth it. On the next rock hounding adventure, I got to find one of the most beautiful agates that I found this season. It was beautifully banded, and I actually found it within the last couple of minutes in this trip. We were just about to leave, but I wanted to look a little bit longer, and I'm so glad I did because I found this absolute beauty of an agate, which is one of the things when you're rock hounding that can be really difficult is to stop and turn around because you never know what you're gonna find next. I also found this gorgeous piece of banded ironstone. It has this awesome metallic sheen that looked really cool. And of course, you know me, I am a sucker for the agates and I ended up finding this super unique one with a giant chunk of quartz right in the middle. It was such a gorgeous find and even had this kind of white banding along the outside of it. And I couldn't forget about this awesome piece of bumblebee jasper. Well now look at this cool discovery. <laughs> it's like this big long tree. Just bloop, looks like it's folded over this other big long tree. And of course, when you're rock hounding, you're out in the beautiful wilderness. So we ended up coming across some super cool wildlife as well. Some little fishies swimming in the pond and a little baby frog. Then we got to do an adventure that I was super excited for this entire season. We got to go to Moose Lake, which is the self-proclaimed agate capital of the world. And I think that they held up their end of the bargain. We ended up finding some super cool agates when we were there. And I probably found the most agates there that I did this entire season. We started on the Moose Lake River that connects to Moose Lake, and I ended up finding lots of little agatey gems and some other really cool stuff there as well. The sheer amount of agates and their little quirks and qualities really made this trip such a special one. Then in this video, we got to look at the actual Moose Lake. I ended up finding a really cool agate and one of the biggest ones that I found from this trip. It's super gorgeous and has this beautiful silica right in the middle. It's like a dark brown. We also found some other really cool rocks on this adventure, including two green rocks, one that was filled with epidote and the other that was kind of like a funky green jasper. Then I decided to take a look in some gravel pits, which is one of the first times that I ever went rock hunting in a gravel pit before. And to be honest, I was kind of underprepared and I ended up finding some smaller agates in the first pit that we went to but unfortunately in the second agate picking location I don't think I found a single agate except for going in and coming out. It was a really long walk to get to that second pit and I was also
also really pregnant at the time, so this was probably one of my least favorite adventures to be honest, but it was still a really fun time and the first time that I got to go agate picking in a gravel pit. We continued to look around that Moose Lake area and found this absolute beauty of an agate. It is so gorgeous and has some really unique coloring on it that you don't typically find in a Lake Superior agate. This was probably one of the best locations that we looked at this season because it had so many unique rocks that we found there, including a giant agate nodule, some bumblebee jasper, banded chert, and a rock that even had some copper inclusions. Then we continued on our North Shore rock honing adventure and found some other really cool things. We found some mica that I thought looked like a wolf head, but a lot of people in the comments said it looked kind of like a bird, so maybe it looks like a bird head too. There was even a funky schist milky quartz conglomerate. Now while we were in Moose Lake, we also got to check out a construction site. So at the campsite that we were staying at, we had talked to the local owners and they said if you want to find some cool rocks, that we should check out the construction area that was going on nearby. So we went to take a look and we ended up finding the largest find of this season. It's a really unique rock and I'm honestly not entirely sure what it is. And last but not least, I couldn't go this season without doing at least one rock bucket video. So my husband gets rock buckets from a local gravel pit and what's really cool about them is you don't have to go anywhere special to go rock hounding you can get the rocks brought right to you <laughs> so that's exactly what we did I got three rock buckets this time and I ended up finding so many beautiful agates even though they were small they were super silica rich and really translucent and ended up being really beautiful this brachiated yellow jasper and funky lady in her dress rock also topped my list and at the end of the season, I also got to welcome my baby girl into this world, which was a great way to close off the year. Overall, I think we had a really successful rock hounding season, and I'm really excited for next year. And also you may have noticed something interesting that I'm wearing. I'm currently wearing my Agate Ariel sweater. Now I actually just started doing some merch and I'm really excited about it. I got these orders in and I wanted to make sure that the samples and everything looked really great and they do and I'm so excited to show it to you guys. And I will be doing a more detailed video on the different merch and cool stuff that you can get to support this Agate Ariel channel. But if you'd like to get a jump start, you can look down at the bottom of this video and there'll be some links that you can follow. Maybe something will pique your interest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. I make new videos like this every single week. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!